Hi, I'm Cheryl Strachan, registered dietitian and founder of Sweet Spot Nutrition. Welcome to our kitchen. I am going to do a demo today of a recipe using asparagus, which is in season, so fresh and beautiful and relatively affordable, as well as barley, which is a whole grain that deserves a spot in every heart healthy kitchen. So I always like to heat up my pan first and then start chopping and just add the vegetables to the pan as I go. That helps speed things up. So you can chop your vegetables as big or as small as you like. I actually prefer them bigger. It's faster and with the carrots, that leaves them a bit more crisp at the end, uh, but it's your choice. Some people like them nice and small to kind of blend in with the pilaf. So with low sodium cooking, we want to bring out the flavor of every ingredient. So that's why I often add dried herbs at this stage so they can cook for a minute in the oil and that'll wake up the flavors. And then same thing with the barley. After you give it a good rinse, throw it in the pan dry with the oil and let it toast for a couple of minutes. In fact, if you have a couple of extra minutes and you can give this a really good brown, even better. So at this stage, I add water and a reduced sodium vegetable base. But if you like, you can use a pre-made vegetable broth or a chicken stock, whatever you have on hand. And if it's a little bit higher in sodium, then just leave the salt out here. It's optional, but it's only a quarter teaspoon and including it makes this recipe about 200 milligrams per cup, which isn't bad. We're always trying to find that balance between making the food taste great and heart health. And think about what else you're having in that meal. If it's fairly bland, you know, undressed ingredients, then definitely include the salt. But if you've got lots of sauce and there's already other sodium containing ingredients and in the rest of what you're eating, then you can leave it out. Meanwhile, while the barley is cooking, you can get everything else ready. Asparagus, Parmesan cheese, even the lemon juice and pepper. And then after about 20 minutes, you can check that the barley is tender. It might need five more minutes or so, depending on how you like it. When you think it's tender enough, add the asparagus and cook it for just one more minute. We want the asparagus to stay nice and bright green and crisp. It'll keep cooking over the next few minutes as it sits in that hot barley. And similarly, there's a bit of extra liquid there that'll be absorbed in the next few minutes by the time you serve it. Now you can freshly grind some pepper into that as much as you like. I like lots of pepper especially in the low sodium cooking, some lemon juice to perk it up a bit. And that's pretty much it. You can substitute different vegetables if asparagus isn't in season. This is great with chopped kale or broccoli or mushrooms and then top with some Parmesan and you're good to go.